Welcome back to Life in Every Season. I've got help today. I've got my granddaughter, Gemma. We're going to harvest carrots. I don't know, I will put a link. Kelly and I put these raised beds together out of scrap lumber, so she got some time learning how to use the impact driver. And we seeded with the, uh, I don't know if we seeded or transplanted. I think we seeded these. We direct sowed these carrots, if I'm not mistaken. But Jim and I are going to take them out. I don't know if we're going to need a trial. That looks like you can wiggle the tops a little bit. So that's good. We've never had, usually our carrots are really tiny. So we'll put it on time lapse as we harvest, and then we're going to weigh them out. gallons maybe. I'll take them over here to the scale and see what they weigh. They smell good. All right, come around here, Jimmy. You read the scale for me. Okay. All right, I'll try to get out of the way. So we're just using the bathroom scale. Uh, 10.6 pounds. 10.6. So we didn't have to do a whole lot except water. We're going to store, try to store some of these in our crawl space, which we're trying to use as a root cellar. So I did a little research, and we're just going to take the best and biggest carrots, and we're going to put them in this plastic tub, and then use a um, potting mix, because it's sterile without any weed seeds. We're going to slightly get it wet, not sloppy, muddy wet, and we're going to layer of dirt, layer of carrots, single layer, another layer of dirt. So. That's our plan to try to store carrots for so we don't have to use the refrigerator or anything else and see how that works for us. And then the, what we don't use in storage under a house, we will freeze dry. So, all right, Miss Gemma, let's use this row fabric and see if we can make us a spot to put dirt. Trying to get the right consistency on wet but not soggy wet. That's good. I think that'll do it. I read everything online on using sawdust, dry leaves, but carrots are growing in soil, so we'll try soil. Potting mix. It's definitely in our soil. Those may not look like great carrots to you, but clay soil in Appalachia is really hard to get nice long carrots. So why don't you, I'll hand you some of the, let's just pick out some of the good ones, the long ones. Yeah, make sure they don't have any blemishes. So we're only trying to keep the ones that don't have blemishes. We pulled the tops out. We'll try not to let them touch. So all right, so we got the carrots pulled. We're gonna try. This is all an experiment. We know that's not a lot of carrots, but we're just trying to figure out, you know, before we grow 100 pounds, how to store them. And how much room we need. Before we started, would you help me with? Um, the wiggle wire. Uh, or, oh, the um, trellis netting in. for the yeah. cucumbers. Yeah, the cucumbers are growing here behind the camera and they ran out of trellis space. So we're going to uh, cobble together a pipe uh, for now. <laughs> Have ideas how I want to do it later, but 
Um, we've got more of that plastic netting we've used before, so we're going to let the cucumbers to continue to grow up toward the center because they're already doing it on their own. I don't want to uh, pinch them back. But that got done. Carrots are done. We'll go in and wash these. I don't know how I will dice or slice or how for a harvest rate, but we'll figure that out. We'll let Miss Kelly tell us how to do that. But thank you for joining us. I hope some of this is informative. It'll be more informative after we tell you how long the carrots last, I think. Um, so we will see you on the next one. Appreciate if you like and subscribe if you have time. We appreciate that. Bye.